Last year, I started the Amur Leopard Run to raise money and awareness for the endangered Amur Leopard. Now, I've mentioned this in my videos before, but uh, I started the run before I started the vlog, so I never got to film my run. So I decided to do the run again, and this time take you along on my uh, Amur Leopard Run. you missed the other videos let me explain what a virtual run is a virtual run is where you sign up for a run and you can run it whenever wherever you want uh, you just uh, run the assigned distance and you receive your medal now for the Amur Leopard virtual run uh, you have to run or walk five kilometers that's 3.1 miles and once you do that you receive this huge medal it costs you uh, $35 to sign up you get your medal as a reward and you help out the Amur Leopard. The Amur Leopard lives in an area around the border of Russia with China. Now, there are only about 80 left in the wild, so this is a crazy low number. And if we don't get involved, the leopards will not survive. There's a big program at work now to try and reintegrate uh, Amur Leopards in captivity back into the wild. This is something that takes generations so it's a very slow process but with this worldwide effort the leopards will have a chance to survive here at wildlife heritage foundation we help with amur leopard conservation in two ways the first being the breeding facility that we have here in order to hold the leopards here and breed them um, under instruction from what we call the stud book so the stud book will allocate us adults and then tell us when to breed them once we've been successful at breeding, we then tell the stud book and they can then allocate the offspring homes to then continue the breeding program in captivity. And we also donate money overseas. We support charities such as Wildlife Vets International and Alta, which are based um, out there in Russia and they are helping with the conservation out in what we call in situ conservation. So they are conducting research on the population of Amur leopards and also the prey species and helping to control diseases in domestic animals and also prey animals, which then obviously helps the leopards from, pre prevents the leopard from contracting diseases as well. Um, as part of the breeding program, Wildlife Heritage Foundation has sent uh, one of our cubs that was born here in 2008 off to Hiroshima in Japan. We've also got another one, his brother, waiting to transfer to Atari in Europe. And uh, the young female that was born here in uh, 2012 is due to transfer out to Hogel, uh, to Utah, to Hogel City Zoo in Salt Lake City in the United States. Now the organization that helps with that is Wildcats Conservation Alliance, formerly known as ALTA. They have a, an office in London. I visited there. It's a, a small group of people. Uh, it's not one of those companies, organizations that has uh, a director that makes half a million dollars. It's a, it's a small group. Uh, people that actually have a heart for animals and that are making a big difference. So uh, the money that, that we collect with the, with the run goes straight to them and goes towards helping the moor leopards instead of uh, going to paychecks of people in an organization. The Amur leopard has a thicker, longer fur than most other leopards. They live in colder areas than say the African leopard, so they need a little bit of extra hair. They're great hunters and they can reach a speed of uh, up to 35 miles per hour. That's 56 kilometers. The threats to the Amur leopard are poaching of the leopards and its prey, loss of habitat due to development, 
forest fires, and now even inbreeding. There are not enough leopards around to sustain a healthy family tree. That is why it's so important that with the breeding program that is in the works now, we can introduce a better variety of Amur leopards so there will be less inbreeding amongst them. That is 5K done. Now, if you want to sign up and get one of these medals as well, then uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you can sign up. Also, if you're going to Disneyland Paris for the races and you want to go home with uh, an extra medal, then uh, find me there. I'll be at the meetup with uh, Gerald from Resrons on Saturday at 4 p.m. Uh, outside the Expo Center by the lake in between Newport Bay Club and the Disney Village. So uh, find me there. I'll bring some medals if you want to sign up. Uh, since there won't be any shipping, you can sign up for uh, 25 euros. Okay, so um, I wanted to pause the video for just a minute because as I was editing this, I thought of something. Uh, this week, I had my very first Run Arno Run running shirts made. I think they came out really nice. I like them a lot. And I want to give a couple of these away to people who sign up for the Amour Leopard Run. So what I want to do is if you're going to Disneyland Paris and you want to sign up for the race, then send me a message, tell me what t-shirt size you wear, and I'll select a couple of people at random that will get a t-shirt. I have a couple of different sizes. I didn't get that many shirts made. I only have a couple. But if you want one of these shirts, if you want to get that huge medal, then let me know that you want to sign up and show up for the meetup so you can pick these up. Let's go back to the rest of the video. If you can't make it to the meetup but still want to sign up, send me a, t uh, a message, uh, leave a comment so we can uh, look up somewhere else, maybe in the park or at the Disney Village. Uh, almost ready for the races. If, you are, uh, if you're going, then uh, make sure you get some rest. If not, get out there and run.